Hello guys and girls. In this video, I want to talk to you about tools. So if you're here for gold testing, silver testing, any kind of uh, acid usage, it's not gonna be in this video. There are plenty of other videos on the channel. Feel free to explore. In this video, I wanna talk about tools because I think that tools are very important. Having the right tools, also very important because based on the tools that you have, you will have different results. And based on the results you're gonna get, you're gonna be making certain decisions. And based on those decisions, you're gonna end up with more gold and silver or less gold and silver. There you go. <laughs> That's the end of the video. I'm just kidding. This is just the beginning. Let's stay focused here. As you can see on the stone, I have flat rasp, which is at the very top, this one right here. Then I have bigger one, which is uh, just a triangular rasp. I'm just turning it so you can see. Then I have a smaller one also triangular rasp. Then I have testing stones right here. This is my big one, which I'm using for larger testing or more sophisticated testing, let's call it that. And these I can carry with me when I need them. Just the three small testing stones, nothing special. There you go. Then we have jeweler's drill this kind of tiny little drill. It will allow you to drill very tiny holes. Look at the size of that thing. It's literally so tiny. Here's my pinky and a comparison for you. There you go. The way this works is you hold this piece right here and then actually I forgot, there you go. Oh, you hold this piece and then you drill and the end spins. So the way you would do it, you would put it into something, hold it with one finger like that, and then you would push this down. I don't wanna make a hole in my stone, so I'm not gonna do it. You would push this down, it will spin the end, and this drill bit will go into whatever material you have. Very interesting tool. I'm using it quite a bit, and we'll talk more about that. The last but not least, is the testing star. I do love the star very much. However, I do prefer needles, but I think it doesn't really matter if you have a star or you have needles, they both work. It's personal preference, so technically it's irrelevant. What's relevant is that you do wanna have this kind of a set because by the end of the day, when you have the right tools, it will get you to the right results and you will not be doubting yourself in terms of what you're doing. So for example, having the right rasp is very important because it's gonna speed up your work by quite a bit. I can tell you that for sure from my personal experience. Having different rasps will also help you. For example, this small one I can carry with me in the bag wherever I need it. And this bigger one I can store, for example, in a, some kind of a permanent location where I can use it from time to time. This drill bit is very useful when you need to, let's say, extract something that's deeper in the metal. Let's say you're getting a very nice piece of solid something. Let's say it's uh, gold or silver. And the cost of that thing, let's say, could be a couple thousand dollars. So the question becomes, do you take a risk and spend 2,000? Or do you make maybe a tiny hole in the piece? You extract what's inside to take a look at the results after testing that would be your call. I prefer to do this and use the tool, so that way I have more or less certain results. These stones, also very important. They're nice and portable. I have several of these. They're very small, just to give you an idea how small they are. Here is my palm. That's the stones. Shift them like this, there you go. That's how they look. The reason I do have several stones because you can't always clean them really quickly when you need them. And sometimes you need to test multiple pieces. So it's very easy to have several of these. You can just carry them in your bag with you, whatever you go to buy something. You can easily test several pieces on them. Sometimes I will, for example, test several pieces on this side of the stone. And let's say I switch to another client, or for example, I will maybe switch to a different category of items. Let's say on this side I can test for earrings and on this side I can test for uh, rings. And then I can put the stone aside, take another stone, test for forks. And maybe here I can do spoons. Uh, I can use these as a reference points for myself. So I will do that. Now, it's important to buy high quality stones. I think I did a video before, maybe I didn't, I don't remember, where I did show a very poor quality stone. So if I didn't, I'll do that in the future. 
but these are pretty high quality stone in my opinion. I have been using these maybe for maybe a couple of months. So that's how they look after usage, you can take a look. See how nice and clean they are? Same idea for each of them. These have gone maybe through several, several hundred tests each probably. There you go. This one has like a little split here and here, but that's irrelevant. It doesn't really, doesn't really interfere with your testing. But there you go, that's how they look. I would highly recommend you spending the money buying something like this. Now these are not crazy expensive. Each of these I think costing like $12, maybe $15. But again, what I like about these, they're very small and portable and I can easily utilize them in multiple ways. Let's put stones aside and move on to the next item. So rasps, I do like this one a lot because it's flat. So when I do not want to make a huge mark, I will use the side of it right here and just gonna file like that into the item. Or if, for example, I wanna cover a bigger area, I'm just gonna make it flat and go like this. Very convenient rasp, I love it a lot. I would recommend you buy something similar to this. Rasp like this will go probably for about 12 to $15. They're not crazy expensive. And I think this one is made in China. I'm not sure where it's made. I think if you remove this handle here, there's a marking there. Again, not something super crazy expensive, just a basic 10 to $15 rasp. So I would highly recommend you get something like this. Let's move on to these two rasps. These two, both of them are made in Switzerland, actually, and they both stamp on the handle that they are made in Switzerland. Now you may question why is one looking so beat up and rusty and the other one looking virtually brand new. Both of these have been used multiple times actually for sure so they've both been in use. Now the reason one is looking so rusted and the other one is looking so new although they've both been used for probably at least maybe I'd say maybe three to four months maybe more maybe six months is simply because this one I stored together with my acid and look what happened literally after one day this is one day result this is not even weeks i just accidentally put it with my acid i knew it's gonna damage it but i just did it because i was in a rush and there we go i i put it probably about nine or ten o'clock in the morning into the box with my acid and i took it out probably seven or eight pm and there you go this is one day result it's ridiculous. We'll talk about the acid storage as well in a bit. Now this one is actually stored separately in my bag and it's in perfectly good condition. Like I did mention before, these rasps actually made in Switzerland. At least that's what I bought them for. I was told that they are made and they are stamped with engraving that says that it's made in Switzerland. I have tried many different rasps over the last maybe three to four years. These ones are really the best ones. From time to time I do break these so you have to be careful and they are quite pricey. I think this big one did cost me probably about 15 or 20 dollars and the smaller one I think I paid 30 or 40 dollars but they are really really good quality. You want to make a, a hole in a piece of jewelry or something you do not have to file for a very long time with these. Literally go one two three four and it's done. Like you don't have to go too deep and you don't have to press it too hard. These rasps are really really good quality so if you're going to be buying one I would highly recommend you spend a bit of money and buy yourself something like this. Again, bigger one I'm using for more stationary places. For the portable usage, I carry this small one when I go on uh, buying spree for gold or silver. So let's move on to the next piece. This drill bit, there isn't much I can tell you about it. I think this drill bit, this piece from here to here, this whole drill is made, I think, in China or somewhere. I think there was a stamp somewhere here. So this piece, I'm not finding that important. Important. Much more important is the end. Now this piece right here, I think it's made in Germany. And again, I paid up for this one. I think probably paid, there was a box of 10 of these. And I think I paid, I don't want to be lying to you, but I don't remember how much I paid. I probably paid about 60 or $80 for 10 of these, maybe a little bit less. I remember they were quite pricey, but there were 10 of them, right? And this is, I think the second one that I'm using because the first one I broke, there was just my mistake. I did something and I pushed it too hard, which I shouldn't have. I should have spinned it harder instead of pushing it. And that's uh, what happened. Again, very, very good drill bits. So if you can get these German made, that's something that I would highly recommend you do. And again, I did explain the usage 
on these and how you can utilize them again. Very, very small, you can see it right here. I think this one is probably 0.75 millimeter or maybe 0.5 millimeter. So it's very, very tiny. The last piece is the star. Let's talk about it. This piece is very important because it's gonna give you a very nice comparison. Sometimes we're in a rush, sometimes we may not remember how something looks. So having a star like this or needles is very, very, very helpful. Especially it's helpful when somebody tries to, well, let's not say screw you, but tell you something that may not be factual. So for example, let's say you buying a piece of jewelry and let's say it's a gold chain or earrings or something. And somebody tells you, wait, well, these are 14 carat. Well, really, how will you ensure that it's 14 carat? Yes, you can use acid, but then the question is what's left under the acid and how it looks. So with this piece, you can very easily prove your point. So you have 10K right here. You have 14, obviously 18, 21, and then you have 22 and you have pure silver at 999. You can easily have the main piece, just make a mark on a stone, put the acid on it, and then take one of the corresponding pieces and again, make a mark on a stone, put the acid on it and just compare how it looks. Compare how much is eaten away, how much is there. Take a look at the actual color, at the amount of silver or gold left there. And that's gonna give you a very good indicator. Now a star like this is costing, I think I paid for this one probably about 100 and 50 or 140, maybe 120, I don't remember exactly. I bought this maybe about two years ago. So star like this will be very helpful. Or if you wanna buy needles, that would be a good choice as well. Now, I personally do prefer needles for the simple reason of once you run out on a certain needle, let's say you buying a lot of 10 karat jewelry and you run out, the needle needs to be replaced. All you do, you buy another set of needles, you take a 10 karat from that set, attach it to the first set and you're good to go. With the star, it's not as easy. You kind of have to carry the star around until you're gonna use all of these pieces or you just invest in another star. So that's why I do prefer needles. But however, I do find the star quite useful and I can't really complain about it. I definitely would still highly recommend this star for anyone that is looking to have a reference point when they testing and using the star at each testing or when something is in doubt. I had a situation before where uh, one person was selling Selling me a chain, big heavy gold chain. The chain was marked 14K. However, the clasp was marked, not the actual chain. What ended up happening, I did not feel like going into argument because that was one of the chains and they had some other chains which I wanted to purchase and I was getting very good deal on those. So I didn't feel like arguing, but on the testing, I did see the 14K was really probably 10K. By using the star, I was able to identify that. But again, I did not want to argue with them. I was more on the side of just sealing the deal and moving forward with it because I had a feeling that if I were to start arguing about 10K, 14K, again, we didn't talk a lot of money there. There was maybe $100 plus minus, but I figured let's just seal the deal and move on. But using the star, I was clearly able to see the amount of gold and the color was different. I just kind of shut my mouth on that one, did the deal and moved on. Going forward, I do understand that some of you may be on a budget and may not be able to spend money on getting yourself maybe tools that you want or maybe planning to get them, but you're not ready yet. So what I want to do is actually think I want to do a giveaway in terms of exactly these tools. This stone, by the way, the big one, I think this one is about maybe 30 or 40 dollars each it's a big stone so what I'm thinking let's do a giveaway where I'm gonna give away let's say all of these tools to someone who really needs them please don't apply for this giveaway if you're just looking to resell them I would really enjoy if these tools would go to somebody who would really appreciate them very much and would be able to use them every day in their hunt so if you are on the budget if you are looking to get a toolkit like this let me know down in the comments below I I'll be sure to do a giveaway probably within a month, within one month. I wanna build a group of people that interested. Once I have some feedback, we're going to do random comment 
selection and one of the people that applied will be able to get this entire set. Having said this, at some point we're going to be choosing the winner. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next one.